Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in this session, I would like to explain uh, various searching mechanisms. That means uh, there are two major searching mechanisms that is a linear search and binary search. So here the search procedure is we have to consider some number of elements and we have to search a particular element in that group of elements. So this process can be done in two ways. One is linear search and another one is binary search. So for this concept we have to use arrays. So for uh, reading the elements, that means we are for storing the group of elements, we can use a single dimensional array. And in that single dimensional array, we have to search for the particular key element. Searching procedure. So here there is a linear search. Another one is binary search. Linear search and a binary search. So what are the inputs we need to implement this linear and binary search? So for both the inputs are group of elements and the key element to be searched. The key element to be searched. So we have to search for this key in the group of elements and we have to print whether uh, the key is found or not found. So let us start with the linear search. So in this linear search, we have to consider a key element and we will keep on searching each and every element until we found the key. So there is no logic here. So we have to compare this key element with each and every element in an array. For example, let us take array of 5 elements that is 10, 20, 30. 40, 50 and the search key element is 30, key element is 30. So write down the main function, declare an array with some 5 elements, so I am declaring in a compiled term that means uh, direct initialization. Now declare one search key so that we have to find this key for in the group of elements. So we have to read that key. So write down printer enter search key scanf. So for reading the key value percentage d ampersand key. Now after reading the key we have to compare this key value with each and every element in an array. So for that purpose, I have to use a loop. So I have to repeat the process from 0th element to last element, that means 4. So for every, in every iteration, I have to compare this key value with A of i. So that means every element. If the key is found, let us take one more variable, flag initially 0, so set this flag to 1, set this flag to 1 if the key is found and we need not search for remaining elements, right. So if you found the key value in the second position, we need not execute this program for remaining two cases. That means we need not search this key for the third element and fourth element. So we have to stop the procedure where we have find the element. So in respect to this condition in the for loop, if you want to stop the execution, the one, one and only statement is break. So immediately after the key is found, 
set the flag to 1 and break. That means the control comes out from the loop. Right? Close the funnel. Now, check the condition. If flag is equal to is equal to 1, it implies printf. So, when, when this flag becomes 1, whenever the key is found. So, the key is found. Else, else means if the flag is not equal to 1, that means this case is not a true for all the such elements. I mean, for all the elements of array. Else, printf key is not found. Close the main function. So this is a simple program to implement this linear search. So here there is no logic. Just we are comparing the key element with every element in an array. So let us trace this, trace this program so that you can clearly understand. Let it be such as 30. So for i is equal to 0. So in the first iteration, if key is equal to is equal to i, that means key is equal to is equal to a of 0, that implies 30 is equal to is equal to a of 0 is 10. So here the condition fails. So there is no else part, automatically i will be incremented. So i is equal, so sorry, the condition will be checked. And so okay, i, is, I is will be incremented. And 1 less than 5, the condition is checked, 1 less than 5, true. So again, key is, is equal to is equal to a of i is 1 now. So key is 30, is equal to is equal to i of 1 is 20. Again, the condition fails. So there is no, as there is no else block, again, i will be incremented. So i is equal to 2, the condition checks 2 less than 5. True. So again, if key is equal to is equal to a of 2, that means here key is 30, is equal to is equal to a of 2 element is 30. So condition is true. So if this condition is true, set the flag to 1. So here the flag is 1. Here the flag is 0. So the flag doesn't change its value. Initial, we have initialized the flag with 0. So here the flag will not change, here the flag is set to 1 and break. So automatically the control will come out from the loop and if flag is equal to 1, so flag is equal to 1, again true, so key is found. So hope you understood this uh, simple linear search problem. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, share my videos with your friends. and. Uh, So they, the advantage of this linear search is the order of elements can be in any order. That means there is no restriction of considering the elements. Whatever the order it may be, the search will be executed. That means there is one more drawback for this linear search. That is if our search element is the last element in an array, so the user have to wait until it completes the, all the iterations of an array. So it would take more number of time, most number of time to get the result if the search key is at the last position in the array. So because it will search for every element in the array, so it takes much time to execute and to get the result. So that is the main drawback of linear search. For this purpose, we are moving on to the another search procedure that is binary search. So let us stop here. Hope you understood this linear search problem. And uh, if you really like my videos, share my videos with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you are having any doubts regarding this C program, feel free to 
post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely uh, try to clarify your doubts regularly and uh, thank you for listening and thank you.